fifth grade, guess what we're going to do? I promised you last week that you would get a little glimpse of what my house looks like. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that, mostly because we need to use my piano today. Today's goal is to be able to find half steps in our music. So let's go ahead and head over to my piano, shall we? All right, fifth grade, uh, welcome to my lovely home. Uh, it is a bit of a disaster behind me right now, but that's my house. And I specifically wanted to film in my living room today because we are gonna be working on learning how to use half and whole steps. So the easiest way to show this, honestly, is on a piano. So let me go ahead and show you how that works. All right, here I have your standard 88 key piano. All regular standard pianos have 88 of these keys. Now, if my piano didn't have so much junk on top of it, oh look, you can even see my guitars, and my ukulele, and my guitar, and my other guitar, and my dog's stuff. <laughs> but if you look at the piano, they have 88 keys. If I didn't have so much stuff on top of it, I would crack open the piano and show you what the strings look like on the inside. So today we're going to be talking about specifically how to do half steps on a piano. When we're talking about music and moving in steps, we usually start by talking about half steps. So let's take a look. If you're a piano player, then you already know that this key right over here is middle C. My piano is not in tune. I am so sorry for those of you who are sensitive to that. But let's take a look. If I wanted to touch the next highest note, I'm gonna go move to the right on this keyboard and I'm gonna to touch the next closest key. Watch where I move to. So I started down here on C. So if we're looking on the staff, this C is actually below the staff on a ledger line, but this is our C, and I'm gonna move a half a step up to the next closest note. That's called C sharp. In music, sharp means you go one step higher. So let's see, here's C, here's C sharp. We all know in the alphabet that after the letter C comes D, so C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E. Now this is where it gets weird. Between E and F, we don't have a black key here. So instead of saying E sharp, we just go to the next letter, F. Now you can totally call that E sharp if you want, and you kind of have to in certain situations, but that's for like super advanced stuff and you don't need to worry about that. For now, just remember in between E and F, there is no black key. So we have C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, no black key, so we're gonna go to F, F, F sharp, G, and we all know after G sharp that the musical alphabet resets after the letter G. So now we go to A, A, A sharp, B, and once again, there is no black key in between B and C. So we just go straight from B to C. Now, if I felt like it, I honestly could go. Ah, it's hard to play and hold the camera at the same time. Let's try it again. And if I had my piano cracked open, you would see that the hammers inside the piano are hitting each of the strings inside the piano in order from left to right. So as a quick reminder, let's go over, go ahead and review. One, whenever we wanna go higher on the keyboard, we go to the right. Whenever we're moving in half steps, we immediately go to the next closest key. And whenever we move a half step up, we call it a sharp. So let's say this is G. What do you think the next highest note would be from G? Go ahead and see if you can guess which key I would press. If I press this key, 
And if that's the key you guessed, that's correct. Now the question is, what do you think it would be called? If you're thinking G sharp, you're correct. So G, going to G sharp. <clears throat> let's go ahead and try another one. Mm, let's try something lower on my keyboard. Uh, let's see, here's the letter D. Remember, we're moving half a step up. So if I'm moving half a step up on my piano, what is the next closest note that we would hit? Remember, if we're going up, we're moving to the right. If your finger is over here, or you're pointing to this key, or you're thinking of this key, you'd be correct. Now, if this is D, and this is D sharp, then you're thinking the correct letter as well. Here's another tricky one. Um, let's give you something harder. What if I told you this letter is B, and I wanted you to move a half a step up? Go ahead and point to which key you think it might be, or think which key it might be. If you're thinking here, you would be correct. If you're thinking that's the letter C, because this is B, and there's no key in between, you're correct. So we're going half a step up from B to C. So again, let's review. When you're moving up on the keyboard, you move to the right. When you are going in half a step, you always touch the keys in closest order. And whenever you move half a step up, you call it a sharp. The only kind of exceptions to that are in between B and C and E and F because they don't have a black key, in which case you don't use the sharp, you just go up to the next letter. Oh, and don't forget the musical alphabet goes from A to G and restarts. I'm gonna show you really quickly another direction we can go. We can always go up to the right of the keyboard all the way up to here, <clears throat> or you can choose to go down. Now remember, I said if you're going up the keyboard, they're called sharps, but if you're going down on the keyboard, they're actually called flats. So C, no black key, so just B. Now we're going in backwards alphabetical order. So some of you might want to actually write down the letters A, B, C, D, E, F, G on a piece of paper somewhere so that you can remember how to go backwards because it can be a little tricky. So C, half a step down is moving to the left. So we're going to B. Then we have B flat. So here's B. Here's half a step down is B flat. But Mrs. Thomas, some of you are probably thinking this, especially some of my friends who are thinking ahead. I thought you said it's also the same thing as, if this is an A, you said it would also be an A sharp. Guess what? B flat and A sharp are the same key. So let's keep going with our flats. We have C, B, half a step down is B flat, Half a step down is A. Half a step down is A flat. And remember our musical alphabet resets. So G, <clears throat> G flat. Then we go down to F. There's no black key in the middle, so we jump straight from F to E. Then we go to E flat. Then we go to D. Then the D flat then to C. Now if I really wanted to do this, and I hope I can do this, I can go all the way up the keyboard and all the way down. Now unfortunately I don't know if I can control the camera and my hand at the same time, but we'll see. Now, normally I go much faster than that, but that's not happening right now with camera controls. So let's go ahead and review the second set that we learned. Remember, when we're going down on the keyboard, we are moving to the left. And when we're moving by half steps, we are always touching the next closest key. And whenever we are moving down a half a step, we call the next note a flat. So here's B, B flat, A, a flat. Now remember, once again, just like before, the exceptions are in between E and F and B 
and see. This will be a heck of a lot easier once I show you that little piece of paper uh, that I have, and I'm just gonna put it on the camera for you when I finally switch back to my computer format that has all the letters on it. My piano is an antique, so I am not about to draw on it with a dry erase marker like I do with my uh, classroom piano, but it'll be a lot easier when you have the letters in front of you. So, here's the synopsis. Whew, be ready. When you're going higher, you go this way. When you're going lower, you go this way. No matter what, if you're going higher, you move to the next closest note to find the half steps. When you're going lower, you move to the next closest note the opposite way to find half steps. If I wanted to move a half a step up from here, I would have to name the next note with a sharp. So this, this, if this is C, the next note would be a C sharp. If I wanted to move down, I would have to use a flat in the name. So if this is G, this is G flat. No matter what, going up or down, the exceptions are in between E and F, there is no black key. And between B and C, there is no black key. Remember, Everything I'm telling you right now is about how to move with half steps. Next time, what we're going to do is discuss how to find whole steps. Half steps are easy because you always go in order. Whole steps get a little more tricky because you have to do stuff like this. So we'll discuss whole steps next time, but for now, let's go ahead and see if we can do some practice with half steps. And I'll even show you another way of doing half steps. And we're back. Okay, so now that we were able to get a look at my piano, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you easier version of the keyboard that has all the letters and I'm deliberately not in the middle of my camera because I wanted to make sure that you all could see this. Ta -da! So here's the deal. Whenever you're working on a keyboard, if you're using a real piano like I have, you're probably not going to have the letters on it, but I decided to give you one with the letters. So let's go ahead and take a look at a close up of this piano so we can work on those half steps together. All right, let's see. The question on our little smart document here is how can we find half steps on our keyboard? We're going to ignore this second question for now because we're going to work on that some next week. So don't worry about this until later. But the first thing that we need to ask is how can we find half steps on our keyboard? This is the big question. So let's go ahead and start by looking for half steps starting from C. Whoopsie daisy. Let's go ahead and look at our half steps starting from C. And I'm going to try and make sure that we have a proper line color and we have no fill. Cool. Please work. Please work. Yeah, it works. All right. We're starting on C. If I wanted to go up, it means we need to go to the right. So I'm gonna color code this to make this a little easier for you if that's possible. But make sure that when you're going up on the keyboard, we are moving to the right. Colors don't like me today. There we go. So that means that when we're going up on the keyboard, we need to be going this direction. We need to go in order. So let's use this red marker. If we're going half a step up, we're going to be up here at C sharp. Remember this symbol here means sharp. Sharp just means a half step up. Let's keep going. We're going to go to D. We're going to go to D sharp. Then we're going to go to E. There's no black key in the middle here. So we're going to go straight over to F. We're going to go up to F sharp, up to G. And then we're going to go up to G sharp, up to A, then A sharp then B and back up to C. 
if we keep going in this order, you'll notice that all the letters kind of repeat and that's fine. In fact, on my piano, like I said earlier, there are 88 keys. So you're going to have some repeats there, especially since there's only seven letters in the musical alphabet. And even with the in-between sharps and flats, you're only going to have like, what, 12? So don't worry if it repeats, that's normal. The other thing you want to look at is what happens when we start by moving down the keyboard. So let's take a look. I'm going to go ahead and start us from this A here. And going down, we're going to work in blue. So I have an A this time. And since we're going to be moving down on the keyboard, we need to be going to the left. So just like I showed you on my actual piano, when we're moving up, we move to the right. When we're moving down, we move to the left. I'm going to grab my blue marker here. And I'm going to go ahead and do this. Ready? Half a step means we touch the next closest note. So A flat, starting from A. Remember, when we're going down, we use flats. So A flats. Then we're going to go to G, G flat, F. There's no in-between key here, so we just jump straight to E. E flat, D, D flat, C. There's no black key over here, so we're just gonna jump straight to B. B flat, and then to A. But wait a second, Mrs. Thomas, it looks like B flat and A sharp are the same key. You would absolutely be right. B flat and A sharp are the exact same key. There's just two different ways of naming them. Like I know, for example, that I personally have two first names and I go by both. And I know that a lot of you have either nicknames or more than one first name that you go by. So <clears throat> that's just an example of what we're working with. So remember, going up, touching every note next to each other is half steps with sharps. Going down is touching every note with half steps is flat. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and ask you a couple of questions. The big thing that I want you to think of now that we've done all of this work is, now that we've looked at the keyboard, I'm gonna ask you to figure out a couple of questions and see if you can get the right notes. Let's go back and take a look. I'm gonna clean up all this work that we did just a little while ago, but I am gonna leave if I could find my eraser tool, that would be great. Where's my eraser? Oh, that's an eraser. I'm gonna leave this up here. So question number one, and I'm gonna put all of my questions in green. What is a half step going up? Whoopsie. What is a half step going up from F? And my second question is, what is a half a step going up starting on G sharp? My third question is, and let's make this purple because purple is not appreciated enough. Uh, my, my third question is, what is a half a step going down from A? And my final question is, what is a half a step going down from F? So let's go ahead and look at that one more time. The questions I'm asking are, what is a half a step going up from F? What is a half a step going up from G sharp? What is a half a step going down from F? And what is a half a step going down from A? If you're having trouble remembering this, don't worry. I'm going to give you the questions in writing in just a sec. Let's take a look. Ding! See, I promised. So I went ahead and wrote out the questions for you. What's a half step up from F? What is a half step up from G sharp? What is a half step down from A? And what is a half step down from F? So on these four questions, what I need you to do is for these four questions, 
the camera this way, is you're going to go on to Flipgrid and you're going to record yourself saying the answers. You can have them written down on a piece of paper to help you remember. And you can even show me the paper if, you know, talking out loud is not really your thing. And that's okay, as long as I can see the answer. So for your assignment this week, I want you to go on Flipgrid and answer these questions for me. Capiche? I'm going to go ahead and leave this up for you so that you can take a good look and pause it if you need to so that you can answer these questions. All right. Ciao.